Alrighty, now that you've gotten off a starter planet, we're going to need to choose a solar system and a star. So, first thing to do is to make sure that your star that you're choosing is not light blue, as there will be players there. Also, make sure it's not a black hole, as there will be aliens there. Now, go to your star and press mode. This will bring up the solar system view, and at the center will be your sun. Now, in order to check out what one of these planets has, uh, you need a telescope. Then, you can configure the telescope to the same coordinates as the planet you want to view. Now, I've already got mine viewing at uh, this little green planet. So, press tel the telescope, and you will see that this the planet type, breathable atmosphere, temperatures, uh, resources, and all of that. Now... Um, the planet types that you want is forest and terraria, I believe. This is because these two planets are easy to set up on. Make sure that you don't have any uh, Earth likes in your solar system. You can have one or maybe two at most, but just try to limit the amount of Earth likes that are in your solar system. Um, now you're going to need four main resources. The most important probably being uranium. And the other three are diamonds, titanium, and aluminium. These are necessary in pretty much uh, in a lot of really advanced things. So yeah, make sure you have that in at least in one planet or scattered around the solar system. Make sure that the average temperature is anything. Uh, if it's anything below negative 10, don't go there. And if it's anything above 80, don't go there. This will be because you freeze up or die. Uh, breathable atmosphere isn't too bad. If it's false or whatever, because you can just make an air supply. Uh, planet type, important. Don't go into a gas type. You will die. Uh, water types are really difficult to set up on. Um, Arctic and desert, just make sure that they're the correct temperatures or close to the correct temperatures. Uh, tidally locked and rings doesn't really matter too much. Now that I've given you a quick little rundown, I'm going to head over to this planet to start crafting a base. I will also give you a tip on flying, which is something I discovered quite recently. So, uh, make sure you have the cords in the hyperdrive, then click the button and you will head off to your uh, coordinates that you have chosen. Alrighty, um, there are a few players here as evidenced by the ship, but that's not too bad. Now, in order to get into a planet, you need to have a thruster and or ion drive and you can just zoom into it. Now, if you've got a thruster, you can turn it off and you will continue to fly straight. I believe it also works with an ion drive, but I'm not too sure. Alrighty, once you have entered your planet, you can drop down into it and choose a location for a base. Um, my location will probably be, hmm, uh, make sure that the location you do choose has stone, iron, uranium, and all of the other resources that are in your planet. Um, this location looks pretty good. It's got titanium and aluminium over there. I believe there's iron and diamonds right there. Um, there's also uranium. Yeah. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to see what to do when making a base. And until then, I will see you in the next one.